Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new feature with Tableau Prep in the browser. Yes, that's right. Tableau have brought the full power and capability of Tableau Prep to the browser. Let's go ahead and see how that works. Hey, it's Tim here. Just a quick one before the video. 95% uh, of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to my channel. And I've got about 7,000 subscribers. They only represent 5%. So join that group you know, join that exclusive group, subscribe and try and get the subscriber numbers up on my channel. It'd be really, really great for me. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead here to explore and you can see here in the top left, just underneath the explore title, got a new button and in there they've added flow to the list of project, workbook and now flow. If I go ahead and click on that, it opens up a new tab and this is the Tableau Prep in the browser experience. What I love about this is that it looks like it's an exact copy of the desktop capability that we had. In fact, I'm actually probably thinking what they did here is they built the desktop version with web technology and they've ported that here to the web. If I go ahead and connect to data and just connect to an Excel file, I've actually got the sample Superstore sales file here uh, that you get with your Tableau installation. I'm just going to upload that so we have a familiar file to work with. Of course, if you connect to a database, you can do that. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to connect to an Excel file. If I drag orders into the canvas, you see that it behaves exactly the same way as we've become used to. And what's going on here is you're actually working on server rather than your local laptop. Now, if you've ever used Tableau Prep with some really large workflows, it starts to get groggy at times and it starts to use up a lot of RAM. The benefit of this is that you're running in the browser. So that problem is now over to your IT admins. It's for them to worry about. The other great thing is that, of course, as soon as you upgrade your Tableau server, you've instantly got the latest version. So whilst on one hand, it's maybe a bit more work for the IT admins to make sure your server is appropriately um, specced up. It's a lot easier for them to actually give you the latest version as soon as your Tableau server has been upgraded. So this is a really, really nice feature. I'm using this on Tableau Online. So what we're going to do, we're going to just do a couple of uh, basic things that you do with um, uh, Superstore. Automatic split on order ID. That gives us three new columns. If I go out here, uh, just go across. Let's see what else we can come up with. We've actually got the returns table. Let's bring the returns table in. Let's also bring the people table in. I haven't worked with this data set in a while and they do change it from version to version. So sometimes I get caught out here uh, because I haven't actually looked at the file here. So uh, region and uh, person that basically probably have a, a nice relationship here. If I just go to uh, region, uh, then what this will do is it will bring the files. Yeah, that's right. It will bring the manager files across. So that's pretty good. I want to keep uh, everything in my orders if that's possible. In case there's a order that's missing a region, we want to make sure we do a join there and then the returns data source if I just hit the plus icon here you can see that basically it's just a flag to say whether the item was returned or not so we're going to want to join on the order ID so let's go ahead and do that here and drop that in uh, join on the order ID and again here we want to do a left join because we want to bring in everything uh, that was uh, returned as well as the stuff that wasn't returned and you can see here 800 items were returned whereas the rest were not returned if I hover over that you get the number 9194 that weren't returned so here I am using Tableau prep in the browser what's great about this is that I'm I just uploaded an Excel file I'm doing really quick basic clean data prep and um, I can immediately output it to Tableau server and share it with my colleagues uh, this is the great thing here so of course you can see here that I get this um, uh, preview window of the output uh, it by default it publishes to Tableau server here I can of course publish to a database but notice they've actually removed the option to export a static file very very smart by Tableau here they want to keep you in the platform so Let's just go ahead and publish to Tableau server. Uh, in this case, Tableau online. I'm going to go ahead to the default folder. I'm going to call this uh, prep in the browser. And there's a few quirks here in terms of workflow. OK, so obviously I've put this prep in the browser. And when we go ahead to publish this or publish this data source, actually, it's going to make you do a couple of things. The first thing it wants you to do is make sure that you've published your flow. OK, now let's say I accidentally close this tab. OK, I accidentally closed the tab. I didn't save my work. Well, in the previous version of uh, Tableau, they actually introduced this ability to capture drafts. So I didn't lose my work there. I can actually go back into the flow and we'll see how much of it remembered. Uh, it remembered most of it. It brought it all back there. So if you close the tab by mistake, don't worry. You can still capture it and you're ready to go back in there and just carry on from where you left. It even captured the name that I entered previously. So let's go ahead, run the flow again. It asks us to publish the changes, publish the changes. We'll call this um, prep in the browser as well. 
uh, that's now called prepping the browser. It's going to the default folder. Once that's saved, you get a little uh, notification here. I can't spell, uh, but that's fine. This green little indicator knows that tells you that this has been published. Now, if I hit run flow, we now get a blue indicator to tell us that this has been added to the queue. It's not running it immediately. Because I'm on Tableau Online, it's actually queuing the job with everyone else that's using my Tableau Online instance. So. Because I can see the preview here, I'm not too worried about that. But if you're needing this in a, you know, instantly, you're not gonna get it instantly, but the wait times, at least on Tableau Online, shouldn't be that bad. On your own Tableau server, it's probably gonna be up to how your admin sets this up. Let's have a look and how we can see how far it's progressing in the queue. If we go to view flow, we get a little indicator that tells us what's going on. You can see here that it's actually already finished. It just literally finished as I got here. So it you know, didn't have to wait long, roughly a minute. But if you wanted to see that job in a particular queue and you wanted to see where it was in the queue, if you have enough access rights, for example, on the Tableau Online instance or on the Tableau site, you can actually go to this list of jobs here and you can see each of those jobs. You can actually see here that I've been practicing this demo. So there's four versions here that I've completed and here is the completed version that I just ran. And so now if I go back, I can actually go and look at that flow and you see the full run history. Now, if I go back and I hit run again, it goes back into the queue again. And notice these uh, pop-ups are staying there. And if I go back, go to the jobs page, now you can see that that job is pending. So, you know, before it queued for 0 0.1 minutes, before 0 0.3. So we have a queue time of anything between 0 0.1 to 1.3 here in the last few runs. But actually when it runs, uh, the runs are actually very fast. So you can see these are the actual run times and these are the queue times. So the total run time is essentially the run time plus queue time. You've got to factor that in because there's a queue to get into, and then once the queue's there, it's actually got to run the flow. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's uh, Tableau Prep in the browser. It does everything you'd expect. And the wonderful thing here is that it's even got some of the new capability where you can connect to spatial files. Check out my video on that in the same playlist covering what's in Tableau 2020.4, okay? If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. If you didn't enjoy this video, hit the dislike button twice, and I'll catch you in the next video.